I moved to uh, California from Wichita, Kansas, 1964. And uh, fairly in about February of 1964, uh, looking for, uh, you know, I moved in with my father-in-law at the time. With I had a wife and three kids at that time. And uh, w went down to a music store, West Coast Music Store in Santa Ana, California, and put my name up on the the board as a drummer looking for work. Well, I didn't even, I just barely put it up and Roy Estrada just happened to be there and he said, hey man, we're looking for a drummer and we have a band called the Soul Giants. We're forming a band called the Soul Giants. And I said, he said, are you willing to, uh, are you willing to audition? I said, sure man, I don't care. Of course I'd want to audition to find out how the rest of the players are. And so I did that, I passed, obviously I passed the test. And so I joined the Soul Giants and we played, uh, we played uh, around. And uh, we got this gig at the Broadside in uh, Pomona, California, the Broadside Club in California. And uh, our singer got drafted. This was the beginning of the 1964, the beginning of the Vietnam War. And uh, we lost, so we lost him to the to the military. And, but Ray Collins had been coming in and sitting in with us. Now we Ray would happen to be, in my opinion, one of the best singers I've ever heard in my whole life. So, uh, well, we had that taken care of. We had a singer. And something happened to the guitar player. He didn't. Him and Ray didn't get along. Uh, Ray and uh, Ray and this singer didn't get along worth a shit. So uh, this guy quit the band, and uh, so we asked Ro uh, we asked Ray, "Do you know a guitar player?" He said, "Yeah, I know a guy. His, his name is Frank Zappa. He just got out of jail for making these porno films at uh, Studio Z in Cucamonga. It was his studio." And so we said, well, can you call him up? I asked him if he would be willing to audition for the band. So Ray called him. He said, yeah, I'll audition for the band. So he came down and played for us. And uh, he wasn't, to tell you the truth, in the beginning, Roy, uh, uh, Frank was not a, a very good lead guitar player at all. He was a good... The, one of the best rhythm guitar players I'd ever heard in my life. But his lead, he wasn't uh, what you'd call a real fancy lead player at that time. So uh, anyway, he passed the audition, and so Frank was in the band, and a month later the saxophone player quit. His name was Davy Coronado. Went back to, he was going to go back to Texas. So he left, and, uh, and there were just the four of us. And that's when Frank got us all together and said, look, if you will play my music, uh, I will make you rich and famous. Well, he took care of half that promise. He made me famous, but he damn sure didn't make me rich. <laughs> 